Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, Indiana House. I've been criticized by members of my own party because uh, we're storytelling up here and telling things that we probably shouldn't. I've also been criticized by members of my own caucus by saying things like, you know, this isn't personal, it's not personal at all. It's really all about politics. How many people in this room come from a farming community? That you live in a farming community, that you've got cows and pigs and horses and chickens? Great. How many of you coming from, come from generations of a farming community? That your parents and grandparents own pigs and houses and cows and chickens? Well, I come from a long line of union members. Years and years of union members. I was a member of the FOP for 25 years and I know about blue flu. I know about ticket blitzes. And I know how it affects in a community. I know. You know, I didn't know kids growing up in my community that were doctor's kids and lawyer's kids. I knew steelworker kids. I knew oil worker kids. I knew carpenters. I knew bricklayers. I knew those kinds of kids. Because I come from a working community. See, what you're doing is you're destroying my community. What if I came to your community and I said, no more cows, no more pigs, and no more chickens? My community is built on the backs of men and women who wear a tool belt, that work in an open hearth, and bust their behind every day, work and shift work, 365 days a year. My dad worked at Sinclair Refinery for 43 years. I stood on a picket line with him when I was a kid. I stood on the picket line with my husband, who died four years ago, who was a union member. And so help me, if there's a strike out there, or if there's anything going on where you need my help, I've got your back. Finally, Representative Elsperman, you are absolutely right. The sky is not gonna fall, but your wages will!